Hey there, everybody. Brett again with another uh, comic book review of G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 18. First of all, this is another iconic uh, cover. They used this cover for uh, advertising purposes back in the day of their uh, action figure line. This issue here is a classic to where they try to tie in the merchandise with the comic book. And... Let's get started. Um, you see him heading to Coney Island. And just happened to be Scarface and having to be getting out of the cab at the same time as Hawk is in, going forward to capture him. Pretty convenient. And then here you see the uh, Manta, let's get this thing going, and if you look at here, and if you look at the island, there could be maybe 300 yards out, maybe. They have to unstrap that to go ashore with the others, I mean, that just didn't, that doesn't make sense. So, anyways, you see the pink Cadillac. You see the kid actually looking at Snake Eyes saying, hey. Um, seeing something suspicious. And then you just happen to see Destro going down the rope. And then Scarface just happens to look out the window and see Destro. And then you see Snake Eyes, Quinn, Destro, and G.I. Joe showing up at the same time. Mmm. A little convenient there, but okay, it's a comic book, so we'll take it as that. It just happens to be Snake Eyes and Quinn gets there first. Which I don't understand. Why did he go back inside his little hideout after he turns on the uh, roller coaster? I didn't get that one. And then Destro blows up the uh, roller coaster. Going in, Snake Eyes has a talk with him, Snake uh, Scarface. And then you see Destro launching a rocket, wrist rocket, and it, that's the only thing it does. Where before it totally blew up a whole roller coaster. Hmm. Okay. And then they find his little hideout. It's empty. Destro steals an ice cream truck. They all hop in the back of the uh, truck. And then they just go lollygagging around in a high-speed chase. Then they go on the freeway. Gets his tire shot off. The pink Cadillac crashes. Starts running for it. Destro happens to pick him up, hauls him in there, and it just happens to blow up the uh, escort. Scarface grabs a hold of him, and they hijack a plane. And they're gearing up for it to go to, to chase after him. And they finally figure out what happened to Torpedo. Had to go get the Manta. Hmm. Okay. And then they just have an hours later, still later, the land in Libya. Tripoli. Which at the time when this came out, Libya was not our ally or was a, uh, wasn't a very nice country to us back in the day. So we used, here they're saying it's more of a, uh, Harbor for Cobra. And just happened to be there. Dr. Venom. And G.I. Joe's on the way to go after him. And they just happen to have plans and stuff like that. To uh, get him. And they're talking about Scarface. And just who happens to be listening outside the door. Scarface. 
Like nothing ever happened. Go figure. Anyways, they land. They attack Cobra. And then they find him and all the dust and all the smoke. They just happen to pick the one guy that happens to be in a his tank. They knock him out. Kidnap him. And then they go about it. They uh, do a little small talk, what have you. And then they're up, up and away. Destro says, yeah, you think you won. But Scarface is a Trojan horse for the toxin that is going to ferret out the G.I. Joe headquarters and kill you all. And there you have it. In a nutshell. But anyways, still a good read. I guess I'm being too nitpicky about the uh, about G.I. Joe comics back in the day. But, oh well. It's a fun read. I'm glad I have it. I'm glad I collect this, uh, collect this title, even to this day. So... Anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section below, what you think of the channel, what you think of the title, what you think of this issue. I'd like to hear from you. So with that, with that being said, take it easy, stay out of trouble. Until next time, bye.